Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Center for Creativity. My name is Anina Collier. I'm the Dean of the Center for Creativity, and we are so happy you all are here. If you've been to our I Can't workshops before, you probably know there's a lot more people here than typically are here. All I can say is that Yusuf Etudai must be a really popular guy. He turns them out. So yeah, let's give him a hand. <laughs> So we are thrilled that so many of you are here, but because of that, we're having to real quick on the fly come up with a new plan because we tend to plan for about 25 people and we have a lot more than that. And so our clay genius here is gonna improvise and we're going to have to share clay and just come up with a little different plan, but we're all gonna have a great experience and make something that we can take home. Um, while he is thinking, I wanna really thank our partner, Waterworks, for being here today and for bringing this workshop to the public. They have so many great uh, workshops and classes and he'll tell you a little bit more in the end. Welcome, come on in. Just kind of fill in at seats wherever we have supplies laid out. Uh, we were just explaining that we have a big turnout today so we're coming, coming up with a new plan. Uh, make sure to stick around after this workshop because we have another wonderful one with artists from Tulsa Artist Fellowship on portrait photography. You can see all the amazing equipment they're setting up back there. So um, you're in for a great day today. Welcome. Come on in and fill in seats wherever you can find them. We will get started in just a minute. And just to prepare you, if you have clay in front of you, in a second we're going to give you instructions on how to kind of split it up so that we can share it. And we thank you for your patience with that. Thank you all for um, showing up. Uh, my name is Yusuf Itudai. Now, uh, I teach at um, Waterworks Art Center. For those of you who don't know where Waterworks Art Center is, it's on um, Charles Page Boulevard, and at, uh, Waterworks Art Center offers uh, varieties of um, art classes. So check us out on um, Facebook. I'm going to be leaving this, hey, this um, pamphlet on the table, and you can just take a picture of it, and you have it on your phone, and when you go home, you can check us, on, check us out on Google. Uh, we offer anything in the, um, that has to do with uh, art, photography, um, jewelry, um, weaving, and um, painting, uh, oil painting, acrylic painting. We offer that cold wax painting. We offer all that. So um, check us out on, on um, either Facebook or Google and come on down there and have fun. I think um, I'm pretty uh, thankful that um, the city of Tulsa has this kind of facility here for everybody to enjoy. So anybody can come there and be creative. So that said, um, they said, when life gives you what now, lemon, uh, you, you, you made lemonade or Kool-Aid out of it, so <laughs> we're going to have some fun. This, this morning, in coming down here, I had all sorts of plants in my head, but things do change, and when things change, you um, change with it. My plan originally was to work with um, this form. It's an angel. and. Um, my wife came up with that. I'm very glad, first of all, to have this much crowd here today. Thank you all for taking time out to come and do this today. Um, and I usually, this uh, could be a very fun, fun project for me to make, and all that has been planned out in my head, how we're going to approach it in um, uh, 45 minutes and be done with it. But, like I said, Shit happens, so. <laughs> and it does happen just like that. But we're going to change and try to do something different. If you don't have uh, any piece of clay, like I said, um, it's not, um, I apologize. Because like uh, Anina said just now, we usually have anywhere from 15 to 25 people here. So and we prepared for that. We had, at least when I was preparing, I think about that. But have quite a large number. All right, so that said, this piece of clay, we're going to do something quick and something brief. I'm not going to take too
too much of your time. If you enjoy this pro pro little project we're going to do today, and uh, um, you enjoy it, uh, hopefully you come to Waterworks and um, check us out there. I uh, teach varieties of um, clay programs there. Um, throw in on the wheel is one of those things that I teach there at Waterworks. Then also I teach sculpting there at Waterworks and varieties of hand building projects that I do there with people of various ages um, and various uh, backgrounds. They do come there to do classes, but that's it. We're gonna try to make a little, a very tiny little elephant is what we're gonna try to make. All right, so if you have a brick of uh, clay, just a little brick, you should have a stick of some sort, a little stick in front of you, um, everybody should have that. Does everybody have one little piece of stick? We have of that too. All right. So you take your piece of clay, divide it into two, just by just twisting it apart like that. All right. Everybody got that? Okay. Set one down, and the other one, um, just start mushing it together gently. So it softens it up. Soften it up a little bit, just mushing and mushing and mushing like that. Okay. After you mush it for a little while, okay, that first part, I want you to roll it into a short little carrot of probably about this size. And I'm going to do one quickly and show it to you. Just a short little carrot of this size. I don't know if it's a carrot or if it's, um, but it's a carrot to me. Just a baby carrot, a little baby carrot, just like that. All right. Once that's done, kind of shape, shape the, big, um, the um, bigger part of it, bigger end of it, shape it, round it off slightly. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Under here. Okay, this is um, a very new techie, <laughs> and um, I am out of the tech world totally. Uh, luckily enough for me, I have a, a woman that's very good with that, so else I'm totally out of it because I'm still out of, um, out of focus. Okay, all right, so we've shaped it to be about this, like that. Does, has everybody gotten that yet? Uh oh, I'm still off the something off the camera. <laughs> About like that. So it looks now not a carrot. It looks like a very small potato. All right. So that's done. Once that's done, take your other little piece, shape it together real well, kind of mush it together. Keep on mushing so it softens the clay, and once that softens the clay, it helps it to stick together. So just kind of and draw it out if you want to. And all that's doing is just um, softening the clay right now. That's all we're doing is to soften the clay. Okay, and mush it together. Soften and soften and soften. And after that, break it 
into two. About like that. All right. Everybody says that, eh? Okay. You take one piece, okay? Break that one piece into another two. All right. Another two parts, just like that. Okay. Did everybody get that? All right. Now take one part of that and roll it into a tiny little carrot. Kind of roll it like that. That's what I have. A tiny little carrot. Okay? Does everybody have that yet? Okay. You can tell I don't do YouTube videos. <laughs> I know a lot of my students, um, whenever we're doing stuff in class, they take pictures and record it and all that, but I'm usually very camera shy, sort of, so I don't. As a matter of fact, when I came this morning, David, uh, the camera guy that set all this up, I didn't know we met before long ago, and she, he was explaining to me, he came to introduce himself, he said, we came to McAllister a long time ago, you, don't, you may not remember me, da 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 da, and did a recording of you for, um, yeah, he noticed too then that I'm not a camera person, I don't like camera very much, as a matter of fact, most projects that I've done, I don't want people record, <laughs> recording it, because I, for some reason I um, freeze when camera is on. So uh, <laughs> I don't take too much of pictures or something. And anyway, also that I'm at an old age now, I don't really see myself, look at myself very much in the mirror because when I look at myself, I say, oh my God, that's, is that you? <laughs> is that you? So I don't do that very much. But anyway, uh, so if you can't see what I'm doing, forgive me. All right, so we've rolled it out in um, a little baby carrot. Now flatten it out just a slight bit, just like that. Mm. Bang. That's what you have. Flatten it out a little bit. And that's what you have. I'm still out of, I'm still not in, come in, in am I, can you see me now, yeah? yeah? Just like that. All right. So you make a little indention with your finger just like that. A little, a little indention on the bottom of it, there, just like that. Okay. Can everybody see that? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, refine the trunk of the elephant slightly, just by pulling it a little bit forward. All right? That's done. Are you all still heading the right direction? Is everybody still awake? <laughs> all right. So, once we get that going and that's done, set that down for now. All right? Um, take your other piece, the bigger piece out of the two pieces you have in front of you, cut it into two, all right? And then cut those two into other two so you have four pieces. Just like that. Okay. Are we getting there? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? All right. 
take a little piece of one of those four pieces, just take a tiny little piece, just about like that. All right? A tiny little piece. And roll it into another carrot. A tiny little carrot. I love carrot. <laughs> you can see. As a matter of fact, uh, most of the sculptures I made, I break it down into carrot shape. Because everything, to me, is a carrot. Your palm is a carrot from here to here. It's a carrot. Then you flatten it a little bit. Your uh, arm uh, is a carrot, another carrot. Your thigh is a carrot. And so if I break things down in that manner, in most cases, um, it, it works fine. And carrot is kind of my favorite vegetable. <laughs> I love carrot because one of my um, great aunts um, told me a good story some times ago. In, um, in her 90s, 96, we gave her a greeting card and she was able to read it just like that. And I was like wondering about that. Like, was she just faking it or she was really reading it with no glasses? And um, she said, I asked her that and she said, oh, I eat carrot, a lot of carrot, so that reinforces my love for carrot. So um, we have another tiny little carrot. Now, we have about, about seven, seven or eight pieces now in front of us to play with. So take the head and the trunk, this one here, take it and the indented part of it, that's the indented part of your little something. Now, with your, with your um, other carrot, <laughs> put that head, the indented part, over the shorter part, this, I mean the skinnier part of your something. So it looks something of that kind. All right? Can everybody see that? Can everybody see that? Everybody can see that? Something of that kind. All right. Now, the fun is beginning. So you take your um, stick. Okay. Take your little stick. Okay. And now you start blending. Blending your piece together, like from the back there. From the back. And sides and under, and you kind of blend it together in this manner. Okay? All right. You should have something of this kind. Maybe if I do that, it might be a little bit better. My hand will shake a little bit less if I'm sitting down. OK. Our screen is bigger than yours, so we can see it. Eh? Our screen is bigger than yours, so we can see it. OK, good. Thanks. So you can play a little bit with the trunk, shape it a little bit more. OK. Now you have one piece that's been sitting down by itself long ago. Now take that piece and kind of um, break it into two. Now that's going to be the ear. We got the leg set for and we got the tail set. So take that part here and roll it into another carrot. A 
a tiny little carrot. Here we go. Just like that. A tiny little carrot. Just like that. Take the other one, do the same thing. A tiny little carrot. Just like that. So you have that. All right? Now that that's done, flatten it out as much as you can, like that. Just flatten it out. You have something of that kind. All right? Can everybody still see, yeah? See? And you take the other, kind, other one, too, and flatten it out, just like that. And you can spread it as thin as you want it. So, um, there. So we have this. We have this now. Okay. All right. Everybody got that going? Okay. All right, the pointed end of those two little triangles now it looks like. Nip those off and set it to the side. They all have a purpose to play. They don't look like they have a purpose to play, but they do. So nip it just like that and put it to the side there. All right? What do we use? Two little triangles, the pointed end of it, nip them off and put it to the side. So everybody got that. Now the next thing I'm going to say we do is to attach the ears. Those little flaps you have is going to be the ears. And I'm going to put one just in that manner, just lay there. Just like that, all right? And you can now press it together with your wooden stick or with your finger, just like that. Okay? There we go. Take the other one, same thing. Now you can always adjust it to your flavor, to your taste. Um, if you think it's too big ears, you can take some off of it. If it's not too big, you can add a little bit or spread it out more a little bit. So this is what I have right now. All right. How's everybody doing? Everybody say yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, everybody is still awake. So um, here we go. Now I'm going to start thinking about how to, do, how to go with the legs. OK. So what I'm going to do is um, take those, you should have these four pieces now sitting down like that, okay? You should have four pieces somewhere. All right. Take those four pieces and roll it a little bit into another carrot. <laughs> so now you can go home and make some carrots, eat some carrots. There we go about that size, four of them, just a little bit. Here we go. All right. How's everybody doing? OK. Huh? 
carrot it out. It's all about the carrots today. There we go. Now, this next um, step is kind of um, getting to the point of finishing this project. So, now, in so doing art sometimes, um, it's a step by step, it's a process. You walk and walk in um, di one direction, then the other direction, and sometimes if you miss a step, you can always go back and redo it. So I have jumped one step ahead. So now, unplug those years off. <laughs> Just like that. And set them to the side. Unplug those years. And um, I mean, even if I'm teaching this in class um, at Waterworks, sometimes every artist, it happens, don't be afraid to um, adjust, don't be afraid to uh, re-examine. So if something is not uh, going one way, you can always, that's one thing I love about clay too, if um, it's not working one way, you can always adjust, you can always take or add or deduct until, until you get it to the point that you're happy with. So, all right, let's take two of those little carrots that you have. Put them together about like that, okay? And nip that end off and those are going to be the front legs. So, and I'm going to come to about um, almost to the end of the skinnier part of your carrot and press that in in that manner. Press that in in that manner. And then you can take your stick. Okay, you can take your stick and blend it together from inside like that. Just like that. Okay? And take this other one here, the other leg, and Press it together like, a, like that, in that manner. Then take your stick again, blend it, blend it from the inside. Okay. Blend it nicely because if you don't, then it might um, be easy to break off. You don't want it to break off very easily, so. All right. We're getting there. So that's what I have for now. Is everybody still with me? Yeah. All right. Then the next step will be to um, attach the back legs. So we take the remaining two little carrots, come to about, about that point there, very close to the end, and here we go. That's what it's going to look like. Adjust that a little bit slightly there. So I have that going. Okay. Now blend it, press it together. Okay. 
adjust it a little bit. Now you take your wooden stick again and blend it. So you have that. All right. Can everybody see still? How are we all doing? Everybody say yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So that's going on. We take the other leg and we're going to flip it on this other side and about there, right there, like that. Press it in again. Iron it out. Okay. Take your wooden tool and blend the inside so that um, it reinforces the joints. All right. There we go. So you have something of that kind for now. Adjust the legs so it can stand. You can adjust it by either elongating or shortening by squeezing it into it a little bit more. If it's too long, you can squeeze it into it a little bit more. If it's too short or too flimsy, you can uh, squeeze it in. Uh, if it's too short, you can pull it out like that. But um, adjust the legs so your elephant stands about like that. All right, everybody got that? This is fantastic. Okay, so you can point the trunk down or you can point it up. You can play with the trunk, bend it around if you want to. It all depends on what you want. Point it downward if you want to, if that's, if that's what you want. But I'm going to leave this up. I'm going to make it point up. All right. How is everybody doing? Everybody still here? Yeah. All right. Now, um, we are now going to go ahead and attach the ears. So, you've done this before. Shouldn't be too difficult now to do. So, go back again, press it in, and adjust it the way you want it. Okay, take the other one and go back again, same thing, and then blend it together. All right, so I'm right now just trying to refine, refine it. There we are. My God. I'm just playing with the trunk, see what shape I'm happy with. And um, somebody 
my wife and I will be painting or something sometimes, and she keeps asking every time, uh, how do you know when it's done? How do you know when, uh, when you are done? When it's, not, my something about it is always um, when you're happy. When you're happy with it. If you're not happy with it, keep on working at it. And sometimes in working at it, you figure out some new ways to do it. So, um, but when you're happy with it, then it's time to stop. If it's, not, if it's not something that I'm happy with, you can always go back and redo the part that you're not happy with. If I'm not happy with the legs, I can take the legs back off and reattach it again in the way that I'll be happy with. But the idea is for you to be happy, because if you're not happy with it, then nobody else is really going to be happy with it. It shows. So refine it, smoothing it out. I'm using my fingertips just to smoothen it out like that. So this is what I have right now. OK? You can adjust the ears to look like um, he's in action. It's kind of going to attack somebody. And you can move the legs whichever way you want. Um, OK, this is what we call scorpy clay. That's a very good question. And what you're going to do after you're done with this, you can take it home. Now, this doesn't go into the microwave, but it does go into the conventional oven. Uh, set it to 250 or 275, preheat it to that. Then you put your something either on a uh, plate, not plastic plate, not paper, maybe a metal piece or a little um, ceramic plate that you use at home. Just set it on top of it for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right? Then you let it cool down. It should be hard enough for you to move, move it from one place to another place, and it won't break very easily if you do that. But remember, don't go and stick it in the microwave. All right? Eh? OK, 250 to 200, preheat the oven to 250 to 275 between that. Then put your piece either on a little plate or a metal piece, metal plate, something that's not going to melt, something that's not going to burn uh, in the oven for probably anywhere from 15 to 10 minutes. I mean, 10 to 15 minutes. So you got that going. And you should have this tiny little uh, knobs that's been sitting down long, long, long time now. It's been sitting down. OK. Those are going to be the tusks. So what you do with that is take your elephant, and you can nip it if you want to. I want this to be a little bit smaller than it is, so I'm going to nip it and kind of roll it into a fine, tiny, little, little carrot. So now I'm going to take that and push it sort of like that into it, blend it a little bit, straighten it out. We've chosen this clay because it doesn't dry very quickly. So if you're taking this home with you and something breaks off, you can always attach it like we've done just now, and blend it back in. I'm taking the tiny, other tiny little piece of clay, and I'm going to attach it from this point, blend it in. So something of that kind, more or less. you should have something similar to this now. Can everybody see that? Something of that kind. 
Can everybody see that? Yeah. This way. Okay. Right there. Does everybody have that? Okay. So now you have this other tiny little carrot that's been sitting down for a while now. That's going to be the tail. So what you do is you take the skinnier part of it, goes up to about, uh, about the top of the bot bottom, like that. Something of that kind, I don't know. There, that's what I have. Something of that kind. All right, now you kind of blend this just slightly, the top, blend it a little bit, like that. And then we can bend this to the body, something of that kind. And you can flatten it out just slightly, attach it a little bit more by pressing it together. All right. Smoothing it out slightly. Okay. So this is what I have. Huh? It's not nice to get old, so don't get old, guys. So my hand is kind of shaking and shaking, and uh, it's not a very good thing to have. Um, there you go. So you have your tail attached very well, and then you can take the bottom of your something. I don't know if you, if you don't feel like doing that, you don't have to do it. It's just a set of eyes. You don't have to. And this is what I have. I don't know, I can't see. Your hands not only shaky when you're getting old, your eyes can't see either. <laughs> your eyes can't see either. Then after that, you can't hear. All right. Here we go. You should have that, and it should um, stand like that. All right, did Everybody you... doing fine? All right, I see Anina here. That means hurry up. Anina's <laughs> moving in. So I am seeing some amazing elephants around here. How many of you are surprised at what you were able to create today? All right. Yeah, how many of you are like, yeah, I knew I was going to make an amazing elephant? <laughs> a few of you, yeah. So um, a couple of housekeeping things. On the way out, if you don't receive emails from the Center for Creativity, there's a piece of pieces of paper on that rectangular table, and please write down your email. We only email about our free events, and we don't share your email. So we'd love to keep in touch with you, especially if you're uh, joining us, or if you found out about us from some way other than our emails. Uh, we will have our photography workshop starting in about 10 minutes. And so we really encourage you to stick around. It's going to be fantastic. If you need restrooms, restrooms are here. There's a gender neutral restroom down that hallway. We have water bottle, water filling stations right out in that foyer. I want to make sure you all know that our sponsor for this workshop, who provided our artist and all our supplies, is Waterworks Art Center. We are so grateful to them for their support. They've been a, a partner of the I Can't Workshops for years. And I think we need to give a huge round of applause to Youssef Etudai. Thank you all very much.
not only for his expertise, but for his flexibility in completely changing the project at the last minute. Uh, we are so excited for this amazing turnout, but like I've said, if you came in late, this is probably four times the, the amount of people we typically plan for. So we're all glad you're here. We thank all of you for being here, for sharing clay, and for being flexible. Yusuf, any, any parting words for us? All I'm going to say is this. I'm going to leave this on the table there, and you can take a picture of um, the face, the surface, so reminds you to go to Google and check out um, our website there. And I look forward to seeing some of you at Waterworks. Hopefully you come there and visit or come and do some programs with us. All yeah, right. and they have programs for all ages, kids too. And Yusuf, let's put it on the table where we're having people sign out um, so table. that everyone can get it. All but right. it's uh, waterworksartcenter.com. And the other thing we'll ask your um, cooperation for is as you finish up, we are going to be removing the tablecloths. Um, so once you finish up, if you can kind of like take your personal items and put them in your chair and your lap, my daughter and I are going to come around and take the tablecloths. And I'd be remiss if I didn't thank my amazing helper today, Estelle Collier-Lee. She? She's been very helpful. Very, very helpful. And especially with the big turnout, we really needed her today. Mm -hmm.